I'm going to talk about how to enter or at what point you should enter the market and your stop loss. Because previously when I spoke about the momentum bullish reversals and the momentum bearish reversals, I didn't talk about at what point exactly you had to enter the market and how to set your stop loss. So under the high probability trading strategies, uh, when we talked about the four key factors, today we're going to talk about price, which is the third factor of the high probability trading strategies. This is employable on the stocks market, the forex market, and any market that has to deal with price action and you know that gives us momentum indicators right so without wasting much time we're talking about the one bar high and the one bar low price strategy these are still part of entry and exit strategies i'm danny legend and welcome to boom and crash expert advisor To start with, uh, we need to check to see that conditions are in place for a reversal, which I spoke about. We we made sure we set a momentum indicator. We gave it 75, 25, 50, and then uh, 13, 2, and 3, and low and high. These were the settings, and we, we went for that. So you can see 13, 2, 3, and then the figures move in here. Right. So... Uh, you need to check to see conditions are in place for a reversal uh, following a lower time frame momentum reversal and then you trail the buy stop or the sell stop to enter the trade one tick above the high or below the low of the last completed bar so in simple English what I mean is if you check for uh, a momentum reversal you can see a bullish one here for this this is h1 a higher time frame and then we skip the middle time frame and then we pick this it's middle because we are picking this and that h1 and m15 so for m15 i need to check whether the same bullish reversal is going on or is taking place so h1 tells me there is bullish m15 tells me there is bullish then i come to the lower one which is m15 then I check for which candle, at what candle did the reversal take place. And I find that the reversal took place at this point on this candle where the green line crossed above the red. So I can come here and I place one on this candle. Let me just indicate with one. Then the way I enter the market is I would have to wait. Now this is the, the high of that candle, this is the high level of that candle that was responsible or the candle on which the reversal took place on my lower time frame. So I've already seen a, a bullish here, then I come to the lower and I see bullish, then I spot the candle on which it took place, then I move to that, I wait for the next candle then i'll place a trade when the tick on this candle crosses the high of the previous candle so this is the point i'm going to enter a buy to get the concept so you buy here because is one tick above the candle high at the point where the reversal took place do you see that then my stop loss will be below the candle low so let me take this out so i see okay so this is the candle low let me place this here this is the candle low my stop loss will be below the candle low of the previous candle that was responsible for the reversal so this is where my SL will be and then for the take profit is up to my own discretion you can decide to take after three ticks after 10 ticks after 30 it depends on you but for your SL with minimum capital exposure I want to place it 
a tick below the candle that was responsible or the candle on which the the reversal took place then we look at that for a cell so this buy then we, we consider that of a cell somewhere here this was let me label this as two this candle is where the reversal took place right this is where it took place for this we enter when the the candle or the, the tick has occurred below the low of the candle on which the reversal took place so this is the low of that candle this is the low and we only enter a cell when there is a tick that has crossed below the low of the candle that was responsible for the reversal so at this point i'm going to place my cell place my cell here All right so it went up to this point but then your SL your SL will go above the high of the candle so this is where your SL will be your SL is at this point and like I said your take profit is up to your own discretion one thing you can also do is that after the candle breaks after the candle breaks the I mean it causes a reversal rather you could come in I'll delete these ones what you can do is this is 9404.9 you can actually come with a new order set a buy a sell stop because this is going down and then you set your loss size depending on how much you are willing to risk and then the price which is 9404.9 9404.9 and then you place it there okay but you know that's this this price level is already passed so it's not working i think it's uh, it's already below this price level so it's not working as you can see this is the price is below this so sell stop is not going to work but buy stop is going to work you see there's a place there so if you don't understand these ones i have the beginner's guide part two and i talked about these things right so you do that and you set it so your sell stop will be somewhere here right below this whilst this candle is still moving up it can be there so that immediately it breaks it will sell for you and then you set your tp All right you could also even set your tp at the same time you could set your tp at the same time with another figure 9401 or whichever target you are looking at you can do the same thing for the opposite you can you can set a buy stop at this point you could also set a buy stop a pending order and then a buy stop so that when the candles even though they've caused a bullish reversal when they are moving down and then they break your buy stop it's going to buy for you very very, very simple so that is it for price our next lesson we'll be looking at time as the fourth key factor when it comes to high probability trading strategies so thank you very much for watching and bye